Howdy guys, it's Nintendo Capri Sun, welcoming you back to Let's Play Mega Man 9. Here we go. Let's load our file, shall we? Probably don't want to be starting back at the beginning, that would be kind of pointless. I've upgraded Rush to help you out. Oh uh, yeah, I, we already saw this. At the end of the last episode. I guess I didn't save until before that or something. What happened was I forgot to save after I recorded the last episode, so I had to go through and do Tornado Man and Mega Man again just now. I was so mad, because I started doing really bad in Tornado Man stage. I'm like, I don't even have to play these stages! Ah! Uh, so there's Hornet Man. Hornet Man's going down! Hopefully not on anybody. Alright. Let's, uh... Take him out, take him out, with one shot. These rocks don't look too threatening, but they do four damage, so probably don't want to be getting hit by him. Ooh, flowers. I forgot about these guys. Grinding spot much? Do 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 do. Ah, uh, not much to say today. I was gonna record some Super Mario Sunshine and Majora's Mask today. But I've already got enough recorded to get me up to my next day off, so I'm like, well, what the heck? And what's worse is I got all these people giving me all these cool tips, and I can't even use any of them because I've already recorded all the videos before I even read the comments. Ah, uh, yeah, so... Well, well, don't shoot the bullets, they're gonna help you. No, shoot them from here. Then he shoots them on there, see? That's pretty simple. I'm gonna stay on the left here, see if I can... Ooh, nice shot. The trajectory there's an impossibly... Yeah, well, we got that one up, that's pretty cool. I don't usually get that. Yep. Yeah, I don't want to take a hit here. Ah, uh, I hate that. Oh, I hate this even more. Ugh. No, 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 don't land on the spikes. Instant death if you do. Instant death if you do. It's like Minute Maid Instant Rice. Or Minute Instant Rice. What the hell am I talking about? Minute Maid Instant Rice. I must be on Minute Maid. It's like, Lord have mercy. Alright. This is just a pain in the ass, it really is. So you gotta keep up with this clook thing going around that, you know, and it's like, oh. Die, 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 die. I thought I was gonna kill you there for a minute. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright. Are you dead yet? Yes, you are. Alright, what's next? What's next? I think we hit a checkpoint, so that's probably a good thing. Oh yeah, I remember this part. There's a part in here where you have to do something like really important. Yeah, right up here where these platforms are. You want to jump out and get these scissors to come and wait for them to go by. Otherwise, they're going to screw you up the butt. Oh, well, look at that. They're going to do it anyway because... Oh! <laughs> That's okay, I was running low on life anyway, so I needed to start over. Alright. Or as my mom would say, Well, I shot! Anyway. <laughs> no, I shouldn't make fun of her, she's funny. Man, we have some good times together. We still will. Where are those scissors at? Shoot, don't shoot the thing out, because now the scissors are going to respawn. Okay, here we go. Now I go. Or should I say, go now. I swear, there's a song they play at work that is like a total ripoff of Go Now by the Moody Blues. I mean, I mean, I think it might be a remake, but it's that close to the original. But I don't think it is, because the rest of the song is totally different. Yet the chorus is exactly the same. It's like, I don't know. I didn't know they did that in rock music. But anyway, I guess I can pick that up. Do -do 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 -do. There's all kinds of songs they play at work that rip off something, though. It's like, ugh. Oh. And they got, like, all these remakes that they play there, too. Like, if anybody makes a remake of any song, it's gonna end up on the Muzak at work. They, they got, like, this remake of Free Fallen by Tom Petty, but the new one is by John Mayer. And, oh my god, it is so bad. He's just like, And I'm free! You know, like, he doesn't hit the note until, like, the last time. And it's like, every single one of his other songs he does that, too. He's got that EG thing going on. Not that that's going to make sense to anybody, but I should say third, fifth, if it's technical music turn. Anyway, let me concentrate on this guy for a second here. Yeah, there we go. He never jumps except just to hop up to the platform there, so when he comes by, just be ready to jump over him. Yeah, so what other... And then they got this one that's a remake of Operator by Jim Croach, and I never got the point of the song to begin with. I guess he's supposed to, like, be in love with the Operator or something when he says, you can keep the dime or something. But this remake, it's got, like, a total bitch singing it. So it's... He's like, that's not the way it feels! Or something. I don't know. And, uh... What else is there? 
it seems like they've let up a little bit on the stupid female remakes of male songs. Like, for instance, they have a female singing Pride in the Name of Love by U2. And, I mean, what the heck is that? Whose idea was it to remake Pride with a girl singing it and turn it into an Enya song? Which is basically what they did. They have some other one that's like a girl singing Howard Jones. No one is to blame. That one's not too bad. I think she might actually be duetting with Howard Jones. I don't know. But... What's the other one? And they had a, re a female remake of um, Aerosmith Dream On. Can you imagine a girl singing that? Well, oh, man, I just screwed this up. Speaking of girls doing, you know, not belonging in places. Oh, we got a game over! Are you kidding? Well, that's only because I got worked over by tor Tornado and Magma Man beforehand. I shouldn't have had to. Don't shoot those. Yeah, I'm too busy talking about the remakes. There's like a fourth one. It's not coming to mind at the moment. Uh, I don't know, dude. There's just so much crap they play in there. I mean, they play some good stuff, too, yeah, but still. You know, like Coldplay, Viva La Vida, which I don't care what anybody says about Coldplay, that's a good song. I mean, they've had their stinkers, I will admit, but... Anyway. Gee, which way should I go? I think I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. Alright. Your bravery will be rewarded, as they say. Oh, we got an octopus here, don't we? Notice how they have nice girly music for this stage, too, you know? It's kind of exotic in a strange sort of way. Yeah, and they play... <laughs> like, every single day, they play... The bad The bad part is that they play, like, the same thing every single day. Like, they play that song, Realize, by Colby, What's-Her-Face. And, you know, I might actually like her music if it wasn't so formal. You know, it sounds like she's teaching a class or something, you know? Like, even bubbly, it's it's playful and all, but like, I don't know, it's just like, it's like she's telling a third grade class how what falling in love is like and teaching it to them, rather than like celebrating it like it seems like music would do. But I don't know. She does have one song they play in there that I don't even think is a single, and it's called, uh, what's it called? I looked it up on YouTube, it's called One Fine Wire or something, it's really, it's the greatest song! I don't know why that wasn't like the first single, because it is awesome. But anyway, uh, I can't play this and talk about music at the same time, I tell you. But yeah, they play Realize, and they play, uh, what's that other one we hear every day? If I Were a Boy by Beyonce, you pretty much hear that every day. And you just know she was on the rag when she sang that, seriously. This is the perfect topic to be talking about while playing Splash on stage, seriously. I mean, I remember these platforms all too well, because I did it a million times before I figured it out. Anyway... I shouldn't harp on it so much, because it's better than nothing. I mean, they used to have it on oldies, and if you put it on oldies station, you know you're going to hear the same thing every day. It's pretty much... there's only like 500 songs in the entire catalog that still get played anymore. Like, you'll never hear something like We Don't Talk Anymore by Cliff Richard. Nobody ever plays that. Nobody ever plays the, Mo the Voice by The Moody Blues, or When You're In Love With A Beautiful Woman by Dr. Hook, or anything like that. Oops. I really hate that bees have to be her weakness, you know, because I feel so bad for her, because I'm scared of bees, you know? I don't know. What are we up to? Oh, 912, jeez. <coughs> Seems like I would've... What is that other song, that other remake that they added recently? I, I talked about the Free Fallen one, and there's the Operator one. There's some other one. Ugh, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna think of it later, like, while I'm, you know, editing the video, and it's gonna be like, oh, damn it! So, I don't want to put it in an annotation, because it just wouldn't be as good that way. We're gonna save, like we forgot to do last time. And back to stage select screen. We have one robot master left, and that's Concrete Man, who to me is one of the hardest of all eight of them. Just, I don't know why, something about him, he's just so unpredictable. Anyway, sorry I didn't talk about the game more in this episode. I got on that music rant, and let me tell you, I just, I'm crazy about music. Uh, so yeah, um, I will see you next time on Let's Play Mega Man 9. See you later.